Yo, what is good, YouTube? What's up, PlayStation Nation? Jay Bari here, and I'm back with another video here to talk about some more Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. So, this is going to be Final Fantasy VII Rebirth news number four. You know, yesterday I did news number three with, you know, including, you know, Crisis Core Final Fantasy VII, you know, reunion uh, within that within that video. But in this video, we're going to be talking about a lot of the things that, uh, or the interview that I missed, you know, or didn't include in that previous video. So we're going to do it in this video and break it down, talk about it, give my thoughts and all that good jazz. You know what I mean? Um, but before I do all of that, I want to, you know, say a huge thank you to Audrey and Genki uh, on Twitter because they're doing they're doing a great job over there, you know, you know, translating some of these uh, interviews that's being done in like in, you know Japanese and all that stuff, you know, from like Famitsu and the Genkeki uh, websites and all that stuff, and they translate them, put them up on Twitter, so you know people from like us, you know, from the West, you know, can can read it and and, and understand what's going on, what you know these developers are saying uh, when it comes to you know these games that we love. Um, so yeah, big shout out to Audrey, big shout out to Genki. Uh, we appreciate what you've been doing, and uh, yeah, thank you. But this video, man, um, this is pretty much, you know, confirming a lot of the things that I've been saying for like months now or years now <laughs> when it comes to like the Final Fantasy VII in, in, uh, VII in general and the remake in general and the sequel in general. Uh, you know, a lot of these things that I'm going to be, you know, talking about or, you know, reading through this, this, this uh, interview, it's pretty much, you know, <laughs> What have been confirmed? Pretty much the stuff that we've had said, especially the first one with my man Chris Righteous, uh, when we did that that live stream, you know, talking about rebirth, uh, and and we we had many conversations talking about this and telling people in this spaces and videos, and, you know, some people be like, I don't know, man, I don't know, man, I don't know, it's gonna be different, I, I don't know, <laughs> and we're like, yo, listen, man. I can, I'm going off of what these developers have been saying for like years now. You know what I mean? I've been I've been doing these Final Fantasy VII remake videos and stuff like that since like 2018, 2019. You know what I mean? I've been telling people these things. You know, some people get it, some people don't. But it's just it's it's funny to me now when I when I read these 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 interviews and I see people tweet about it and I'm like, oh guys, look confirmation. I'm just like. Yeah, it's good that you're getting the confirmation from the dev, but these are things that, you know, was mentioned and said by a boy, you know, for a long time. But uh, let's get into it, though. Let's get into it. Let's not be cocky out here. And let's get into it. So, um, the first question that was asked here is that since the current titles Final Fantasy VII are, are Remake, Reunion, Rebirth, can we assume the next title uh, will also start with a re? And uh, this was pretty much confirmed as well. well I, I don't think this was this is confirmed, but it's pretty much assumed uh, that uh, they're going to be doing this with the third one. He's, and the Mora answer said, "I hmm, I wonder, laughs, since it would be like the Final Fantasy VII uh, R projects titles to all share a similar hashtag or abbreviation with Final Fantasy VII R. I think the third and." I think the, the third installment will also start with an R. So yeah, you know, we, we pretty much assumed that, but you know, we got confirmation with that there. Uh, and then the next thing here that was said is that I'm quite intrigued with the cutscene in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth where Cloud and Sephiroth is walking. The more said since the announcement of the trailer uh, was only a, te a teaser one, there wasn't much information uh, in it. Uh, the next trailer will be the one that has information that surely will surprise you. So, next trailer that's coming, you know, which is typical, you know, Square Enix fashion, they're going to be having a lot of information in there. Probably going to show you the new battle system, probably going to show you some open world or some hub world mechanics, and, um, you know, things like that, as far as like, you know, other story beats or probably towns and stuff that they're visiting. But, um,. Yeah, like like the previous video I just did yesterday, you know, when I was talking about this scene, pretty much, pretty much just saying like how there's gonna be story beats that's in the game from the from the original game, but you know it's gonna be additions or there's gonna be changes to it. Let's like remake, you know. There's a lot of things in remake where in Midgar there was story beats that was happening 
you know, particularly like the scene, but there was just more additions and more gameplay stuff that they added. So I'm, I'm, I'm pretty sure that they're going to do the same thing when it comes to this flashback. They're going to do the same thing when it comes to a lot of the story beats that's happening, you know, from the original game in Rebirth. So the next question was asked at glance, it seems like Final Fantasy VII Rebirth had an open world. And Nomura was saying, we'll explain that in the next info drop. So the next info drop, whenever this next trailer comes, you know, we're pretty much going to get that answer. I'm going to assume that it's going to be like semi-open. It's not going to be like a full-blown open world because, you know, you're going to need to travel to every destination and all stuff. But I feel like you're going to, it's going to be open enough where we're going to get that feel. I think they're going for the same thing like how Final Fantasy 16 is going for. But we probably have to see more of Final Fantasy 16 but I do think you're going to have those walking elements you're going to be open you're going to have the chocobos you're going to have your 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 doom buggy your tiny bronco you know what I mean it's going to be it's going to feel open but as far as the open world open world I don't think it's going to be fully fully broad open like that uh but cause that that would be that would be crazy I mean we, they're going to eventually get there but that would be crazy either or I'm with it so the next question was, it's surprising that the next installment for Final Fantasy VII R would arrive only three years after the first installment was released. Nomura said, it's really uh, quite fast uh, when you consider the time it took to move the game onto the PS5 and then the PC version for Integrate, uh, for Final Fantasy VII Integrate. And Katase says, you know, shout out to my man Katase. He says, making Final Fantasy VII Integrate uh, soon after Final Fantasy 7 remake uh, also had an impact we were able to shift our resources to the PF5 and allow it allowed uh, for smoother development for Final Fantasy 7 uh, rebirth uh, I mentioned this in a development message but it is truly amazing that we we are able to develop titles of this scale so quickly and yo this is this is one thing I know I mentioned like you know like a year ago matter of fact it was two years ago because it was the same year that no it was the year before um it was a couple of months before when remake came out where katase was like we are already working on the second installment of the game and it's much faster because all the assets are built up obviously you know the pf5 is going to help in that process and all stuff but he was he was mentioning this very very long time ago people was People were shocked and surprised. That's why I always was in the in the in the, in the vein of that the game is not going to be too long when it's going to come out. You know, people was thinking like, nah, we'll never get to see this game until this and this and this and that. But I always was in the vein like, nah, because this is what he was saying. He was like, yo, the 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 the, the development is going to be much faster and quicker because they have that stuff built up already and done. But now they can expand upon and look how fast they did remake to integrate. You know what I mean? Uh, so the next question was, will Cloud, Barrett, and other uh, main characters have a change in their 3D models from Final Fantasy VII Remake to Final Fantasy VII Rebirth? Nomura says, no, I don't think there will be changes. However, we made some, alter we made some alterations to Yuffie's model in Final Fantasy VII uh, Integrate, and some characters did receive adjustments too. So I'm, I'm going to assume that the adjustments and alterations and stuff like that is going to be more towards like combat. And system mechanics rather than just like a look or a, a feel probably Yuffie's gonna have a different look because she ain't gonna have that hoodie you know like no but uh, okay so the next question here is it <clears throat> there are many who hope to see red 13 playable in Final Fantasy 7 rebirth no more says uh, please look forward to it obviously red 13 is gonna be playable in uh, rebirth um, I'm pretty sure they alluded to that um, when the Final Fantasy 7 remake came out and there was a development interview with Nomura and Katase and Hamaguchi where they were saying that they wanted people to give that feel of, of 13 because he, he pretty much came in late in the game so they didn't really want him to be like oh he's playable and then quickly right after if the game is finished you know what I mean but they had him as like a, a guest party member and showcasing his moves and all that stuff there that's for like a teaser for like the next game and um, the next question we have here, this is the final question. He says, what, and this is this is the one that, you know, pretty much, I might get a little cocky, but I, I'm gonna calm down. Uh, he says, what exactly 
will Final Fantasy VII Rebirth cover uh, when compared to the original game? Katase says, while I can't reveal a clear picture for you, there will not be any lack of major events that appear in the original game. However, the locations that appear in the original game uh, might be presented in a, in, a, in a different order, pretty much they're saying. Not, it, it might not be presented in the same order of Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. So pretty much towns and events might be a little bit different, but they're not taking any of that stuff away, which we pretty much said. Uh, the chronological order, the chronological uh, order of how locations appear might be shuffled. So yeah, the, the appearance of where the towns might be might be different, but when it comes to major events like we've been telling people for I don't know how long, because this this was already confirmed in the development video like a year a year and a half ago. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, probably like two years ago. People was not trying to hear what we was telling people that. It's like, nah, the game is different. The game has changed. They, they, Destiny and all that stuff. I said, yeah, that's understandable. There's going to be some changes in the game. But they confirmed this already. That <laughs> major story beats will be in the game. However, just like Remake with Midgar, like I said, certain additions here and there. You know has happened certain applications has happened to those story beats just because it's a new fresh game that's building in the current age it, obviously there's going to be changes but the story beats itself is going to be the same uh and no more said in other words even though the order of locations have changed that doesn't mean the location is omitted so please do not worry about that so yeah you know this this is pretty much them rehashing a lot of stuff that they've said already in prior you know development articles and interviews but it's just good to see that we're getting confirmation here because a lot of people you know still had these questions you know um and i understand that i'm not a big platform so people ain't gonna really try to listen to me or hear what i gotta say when it comes to my favorite game of all time <laughs> you know to be and and, and and some of my favorite developers of all time but you know, at the end of the day, as long as people is getting the information and now people are being current when it comes to this information and it being actual, not now they're getting the correct stuff. Uh, it's just good to see that the stuff that, you know, they're saying, you know, uh, is being confirmed now. But yeah, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below, guys. Uh, what's your what's your thoughts on re, uh, Rebirth? You know what I mean? Like, is this something that, you know, that is, is, is tickling your fancies? You know, it does does hearing that the original story beats and towns is going to be in the game, even though it might be in a different order. Let me know your thoughts uh, about those stuff, man. But hopefully you guys enjoy the video and all the information. Once again, big shout out to Audrey and, uh, and Genki uh, for translating this stuff. But yeah, I'm going to holler at you guys later. It's your boy Jay Bari. I'm gone. Deuces. Stay away!